Are you thinking of leaving California? Is it time to move away from this great state, whether you're relocating for work, maybe to be closer to family, or just retiring and picking somewhere less expensive? Well, I'm gonna talk about three states that I hear a lot of people from the Bay Area that are moving to. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley. I specialize in selling homes that are in trusts and probate and when people are retiring and downsizing or leaving the state. And today I wanna to talk about three states I kind of hear a lot that people are moving to. Idaho, Colorado, and Tennessee. Specifically Nashville, that's what I hear. Uh, so today I'm gonna to do a little comparison, uh, the cost of living and things to do in these areas. And what I tell clients, and unfortunately, I feel like I have more and more clients every year that are leaving the area, leaving the state. We have a realtor at the other end, the title company, your lender, if you need one. A lot of times people are paying cash when they sell in California, but if you have a lender and the title company here, because I kind of act as a quarterback to make sure all the time frames work together, closing here, purchasing there, giving you time to pack up and leave here before being able to move into your new place. So. I have a lot of personal experience with this. Gosh, I've lived in three countries, multiple US states, multiple Canadian states, and oftentimes I had about two weeks to make the move. So I am your gal to help. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started. Here's a picture of the beautiful downtown area with those gorgeous mountains in the background. Median home is around, you know, 370,000. But here you can see there's homes in the 900s, 700s. It is a seller's market. There are more buyers. And you would need to make about half as much to live in Boise for the same quality of life. Look at the average temperatures. And here's some rainfall stats and snowfall. It actually gets more rain than I realized. And here's some fun things to do. The zoo. Here's the train depot. You can get some history about the Boise area here. And what's the city without hockey? We've got some minor hockey here, the Steelheads. There's the North End, the restaurants and shopping and the Greenbelt. Boise is such an outdoor city. Got the River Greenbelt, biking, rafting, fishing the Lucky Peak State Park, and the Eagle Island State Park. And look at this, skiing. Maybe not as good as Tahoe, but it's less than an hour away. Here's a little recap of all the taxes and median home price. Moving on to Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City, those gorgeous mountain ranges. Median home price is around 440000 their list price versus sold price kind of is all over the map, to be honest. Some homes for sale. There's one, almost 900000 Need around 113000 versus 200000 in the San Francisco Bay Area to have a comparable life. Weather averages. They have a nice dry heat there, I know. Uh, the rainfall and snowfall. Red Rocks, oh my gosh, it's, it's so amazing. You can have concerts and hiking there, outdoor events. Coors Brewery and Coors Field. <laughs> they have all the major sports in Denver. Lots of shopping, lots of restaurants, the outdoor patios. Craft beer. And they have a um, United States Mint there, creating some money for us. <laughs> More food. There's an overview of the taxes. Colorado Springs. More and more people I'm hearing are moving there. Median home price is around three hundred forty thousand, less than Denver. Uh, it's pretty steady. The pricing. There's some homes, five hundreds, three hundreds. You need, again, about half is what you would need in the Bay Area to live comfortably. And here's the weather. The rain and the snow. Pikes Peak, one of the bigger parts of the community. So much outdoor hiking. The United States Air Force Academy is there. The 
Paralympic and Olympic Training Center. What's a city without a zoo? <laughs> they also have a Red Rock Canyon area, Red Rock hiking, gorgeous, Garden of the Gods, so much outdoor stuff to do. They have a museum of World War II aviation. Old Colorado City is a neat little area to explore. And again, here's an overview. Moving on to Nashville, gosh, such a pretty city. Look at that. Median home price, well, somewhere around 350,000. Gorgeous house for under 500,000. And you need less than half to have a comfortable lifestyle there, 95,000. Here's the weather. It does get humid in Nashville. A lot more rain than I realized. And what is it known for but the Grand Old Opry? How many people have been made it there? They have a great music and performing culture, a lot of creativity in Nashville, some famous bars. There's always music playing somewhere. Outdoor activities, a lot of history around Nashville. Hopefully it's still going to be there. Um, and they do have major sports. There you go, hockey and football. Love it. Outdoor lake, another zoo. <laughs> Tennessee does not have a state income tax, but they do have a tax on dividends and interest. Here's an overview of all the cities I talked about today. And this map talks about how much you need to earn annually to buy a home. And for San Jose, it actually has 275,000. So it breaks up this state a lot better. This one is more generalized, how much you need to, to have to buy a home. And then here's the uh, income tax for each state. So there you have it, some data. Hopefully this will help you make some decisions. Maybe you already know where you wanna go, but this just kind of helped you see the cost of living. I know with a lot of companies offering uh, the ability to work from home, people are thinking about leaving this state, having a lower cost of living and possibly a bigger house with a nice big home office. So let me help, let me be your quarterback to make this happen. And one of the best places to start is down below, I have a link to uh, a website where you can find out what the value of your house is currently. It's accurate. We are not talking about a Zillow or just a computer generated value. So start there. Let's figure out what kind of equity you're looking at being able to bring with you. And if you liked anything I had to say, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really wanna provide good data. So if there's somewhere else that you're thinking about moving to, maybe Oklahoma, maybe Ohio, I would love to provide you this kind of information specifically, so don't hesitate to reach out. You can go to my website and set up an appointment to talk, just free, free consultation. You pick the time on my website. That link is also down below. And until next time, have a great one.